Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're introducing the Nonlinear Relationships chapter for the SL course in Math Studies um, for IB. Today we're going to be introducing it by looking at what a relation is and what a function is. So first of all, let's look at a relation definition. So a relation um, is any set of points which connects two variables or any set of ordered pairs that connects two variables. Now most recently you guys have been looking at coordinate geometry and that obviously looks at the plotting of the x and the y coordinates. But we know that's not just going to be um, uh, linear functions, I mean lots of different types of graphs. Um, so if we kind of just look at that and revise that a little bit, what an ordered pair is, is something that's going to be a coordinate. So it compares the x uh, variable against the y variable. So for example, when x is 0, y is 0, we might look at when x is 1, y is 1, um, when x is 2, y is 2, etc. And that of course looks at a linear function. All right, I kept using that word function because that's what it is. Um, however, it's also a relation because it has these sets of ordered pairs or has these coordinates. Whereas if you look at a, a graph like this, okay, I'm going to slightly change the graph a little bit. Okay, now this is the graph of y equals, sorry, x equals y squared. You can see that it's definitely not a linear function, all right, but these are coordinates that compare two different variables or connect two different variables. So the one in green is certainly a relation as is the one in white. Okay, that is a two different graphs. However, one of them is just a relation whilst the other one is not just a relation, but it's also a function. Now, I've already used that word linear function, so hopefully you recognize that the straight line is the linear function, whilst the green one, the x equals y squared, is not. It's simply a relation. But I wonder whether you know what the reason is for that. So if we then look at a function, the definition of a function is a relation. So as I mentioned, both of those graphs there, they are both relations. However, only one of them is a function because it says here that a relation which no two different ordered pairs have the same x-coordinate. If we look briefly, and I'll look at this in the next example, on this straight line, if I look at the coordinate down here, it's only got, it's got an x-coordinate of, let's say, oh, what do you reckon, negative 4 or something, right? All right, if I look at this one here, it might be negative 2. If I look at here, x is 0, x is 1. If I look at here, x is 2, x is 3. It only ever has one x coordinate at that particular value. All right, um, I can't find any two points on that straight line that have the same x coordinate. Because, for example, if I said I'm going to x coordinate there, well, it's no longer going to be a straight line. However, if I look at this green line, this sideways parabola, x equals y squared, if I look at the coordinate here, that could have the x coordinate of 1. But if I look down, that coordinate, that could also, or well, that also has the value of x equals 1. They, of course, have two different y values, but they share the same x coordinate. So again, it comes back to saying that a function is a relation which no two different ordered pairs will have the same x coordinate. Let's have a look at a couple of graphs. Now, we should be familiar with this particular graph from last year, okay? And also probably looking at a, a quadratic functions topic. Um, y equals x squared, and I've already used that term, quadratic function. This is a function, it is also a relation, however, it covers both. Why? Well, if I look at a coordinate, let's say here, I go down, there's only one x value okay, on that graph of negative whatever it's going to be. There's only one x coordinate on that graph. It's x equals negative 2. If I look over here, there's only one coordinate that has an x value of positive 2. Now, the quick way of doing this is what we refer to as a vertical line test. It's a really quick way, right? Um, the way we do that is simply draw a straight line down and that's the line of x equals 2, and it can see very clearly that it only cuts the x, um, sorry, that our graph at one point, which means it only has one x value of 2 on that particular equation. So again, if it cuts um, the graph once, this means it is going to be a function. 
okay? And actually, it doesn't matter where I, I put my straight line, I can put it there, I can put it there, I can put it there, but again, it only hits it once for that particular value of x, which means, again, that is a function. So let's have a look at a situation where it's not going to be a function. Again, I've already used this one, and, and I apologize, but I like it because it's one of the common uh, questions you get. Now, if I do these vertical line tests, if I do it straight down at x equals 2, what you're now going to see is that there are two different coordinates that have that x value of 2. So if it cuts more than once, more than once, then it is just a relation okay so it's not a function it is a relation now you might say oh what if I put it there you know that means it cuts it once isn't that make it a, a function no it's where you can put that vertical line anywhere on that graph and the minute that it cuts it in more than one place on that particular vertical line it will mean that there are two coordinates that share the same x value okay so very straightforward. A vertical line test is very quickly um, is very quickly able to determine that. Again, if you can just simply show on an um, if you want to show uh, using coordinates and that type of stuff as well, you can certainly do that. Okay, but certainly I find the vertical line test is very good. Now, what are your some of your common functions? I guess that might be a question that that you might ask. Okay, so some common functions that we kind of deal with. All right would be stuff like a linear function. We might deal with the quadratic function, which is the parabola. We have a cubic function, look like that. Again, um, you can see it only cuts in one spot if I put one down. We've got the hyperbola, all right, which is a little bit different because it doesn't cut it down the middle. So I'm not going to look at that example just yet. Um, but you can have lots of different lines. I could have a nice little curved graph like this. Okay. Again, for all of those particular graphs, if I sit there and draw a nice vertical line straight down once, 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 doesn't matter where I put it, even that one, it's always going to be once. These are all functions, okay? Um, what might be ones that are just relations? Well, the two common ones that I, I've shown you, or I've shown you one already, is the Sywood's parabola. That's a really common one. And, of course, you might be remembering the circle back in year uh, 10, where if I draw it down, it cuts it twice. Therefore, that's just a relation. That's just a relation. All right. Um, okay, guys, that's in a nutshell. That's what a function and relation is. Again, a, a relation is simply a set of ordered pairs or coordinates that sit on a, on a uh, Cartesian plane. Um, whereas a function, it is in fact a relation. However, it just has that magic little connection that no one coordinate can have the same x coordinate or x value. Okay. So again, there, every coordinate has to have a different x coordinate not like this one here where they share the same one all right a little bit confusing i understand guys but, but vertical line test and um, vlt if you want to call it your vlt is a way to go to prove it if it cuts it once we know it's a function if it cuts it more than once then it's just a relation have an awesome day guys hope it made sense um, make sure you watch the next video and uh, we'll be moving into function notation have an awesome day guys